Hello, people of YouTube. Welcome. Today, I'm going to show you how to build this. It's a lag switch with one, two, three switches. Ah, three switches. Okay. Well, if you're here to see me put this one on this cord, like right here, you're, you're on the wrong video. I'll link it right here. Give it like three seconds. One, two, three. Okay. Yeah, so, right there for the, just one, and, well, have fun watching the video, guys, I uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make a lag switch. These are the tools you're going to need. I have a pair of scissors, this, uh, mysterious tool, it, it there's different ways to strip wire with it, various sizes here and other stuff. This just helps me peel the extra wires off. Uh, screwdrivers. Something else to help me get the wires good and, you know, exposed. Uh, also some electrical tape here and duct tape. Uh, you just need this for repairs. This is what I recommend for actually using to put wires together. Uh, a good ethernet cord. The one that's not cut in half like this one. That's, that's for later. Some spare wire. Just in case. Various light switches. I have a three-way switch here. It's got the three poles in the ground. And several uh, two-way switches. This one. I'm going to show you with this one. Because it looks a lot cooler than just a regular house switch. I don't know. I think it looks better. But I have various switches. I'm not going to use too many of them. But, you know, never hurts to have extras. Okay, so, uh, let's get started. Um... Yeah, I think I did that well. Okay, I need to clean up this area here. <laughs> One more thing you need is a clear space. So, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I decided to use these three switches. They're all different colors and designs. So, I'm going to set those aside for now. And right now, I need to... Since, since I'm using a broken wire that I will show you how to repair. Uh, I need to expose about that much on both of them. So, with one hand, <laughs> I'll show you about that much. And it's probably about a good three inches, maybe. But that should be adequate, three inches on both sides, six total, for those of you that can't add. I don't know. But uh, first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm going to use my stripper tool thing uh, figure out how I can I'll, I'll put it like that, that might work okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this wire I'm going to put it in this hole. Okay, yeah, this hole will work. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. And then I just clamp it down, and it puts a nice little seam right there. Right there. Yeah, you can barely see that, but uh, that's what it does. It puts a little seam there, and just bend it and twist it until it comes off. If you need any help with that, that's what this is for, the pliers. But, uh, yeah. And then you should have all these, all these various wires exposed. All the different colors of the rainbow. I'm going to do that with the other one real quick. Okay, so, I got that done with both of them. And I got all these beautiful wires exposed. Now, since I'm going to use three switches, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? First thing you want to do, you want to pick a color. 
any coke. Just, if you're using multiple switches, try not to have, try not to use both wires in like these intertwined bunches because that can lead to some problems later on. I don't know, just my recommendation. Because there's four strands in my ethernet cable that's plenty for three now to pick a constant i usually pick whatever one is in the middle of that so i'm not going to do anything to the blue ones just in case that's going to be my control one so i'm going to use these three now the one i'm going to show you guys is with this one and just just to be different i'm going to use green instead of orange like all the other videos so, uh, next thing I'm going to want to do, just unwind it. Now, I'm going to use the solid one, but you can use the strapped one if you want. You know, it's totally up to you. Now, I'm going to go about that far. So, you know, the dentist won't, won't agree with me, but I think it's a good idea to just use your teeth. Uh, it works a little bit easier, and people that burn it off don't realize that that creates an insole to the wire. So, okay. So I got that done. Wire's nice and exposed. I'm gonna twist it up. Okay, wire's nice and twisted up. Now I'm gonna gonna use this switch if you know anything about switches you know there's a pole here that's gonna be either out or in and a pole here either out or in so let me get my screwdriver okay now this is a really old switch so it it's got a flat head most of them don't new ones will have this the you can either flathead or Phillips. You can see that. That's not going to help. Okay. Can't really be in the weak. Okay, anyway. Back to this. You're going to want to get about that much. That's a good amount. So I have a little bit left. In case you need it. Okay, so. I'm just going to stick it on here. Actually, you're going to want to go from the left. And just twist it around so go from the left of the screw and twist it around like that it'll just make it tighter in the end okay so about as tight as that's gonna get now I'm going to take this stick it on here twist it all the way closed nice and tight don't worry if there's some strands hanging off the end. That is perfectly fine. And it's pretty much inevitable. Okay. So, that's what happens. It starts winding up the plastic too. Just pull it out. If you pull the plastic out, nothing is going to happen this bad. So, um, I'm going to do that with the other side real quick. Now I got this side done. It's attached. Nice and good. Won't come off unless I keep pulling on it. Then it'll probably come off. <laughs> anyway. I'm okay, back. guys. I'm back. And I've got this one hooked up perfectly. It's awesome. And the great thing about it, it's got two poles on, like, the front. Not on the side. Anyway. I got this hooked up. And while I was doing that, I noticed I have a little hole slice in this wire right there now you can't see it obviously but that can be a problem later so I thought I'd tell you just now while I'm still doing this and keep in mind this is my very first attempt at doing this lag switch setup and all but uh, now that you've got now you got this one you're gonna want to connect it if you did what I did and cut it in half like, I'm not going to be one of those guys that does it all perfect the first time. This is like 
what you do if you were trying to do what they were doing with their pliers like this and they're just like okay so you just grab it and twist it and maybe you kinda grabbed it too hard and twisted it just right and it snapped in half well here you go I'll show you how to do it like this too I use a different switch on another part of the cable over here to show you what you would do if you didn't screw up but see there's this nice little strand and there's two of them they overlap well you want to want you're gonna want to expose those completely and uh... I'll show you the rest after I do that here. okay I hit a snag exactly what I thought was gonna happen happened and this wire the one that I said was a little bit cut into it broke but good for me I have this extra wire and you can get this stuff like 20 feet or 20 cents a yard at like ace hardware and you get the whole cable 20 cents a yard anyway I'm gonna fix this I'm just gonna expose about that far about that far and tape them together okay just thought I'd okay so that's done I got the wires stripped and ready to put together except I kinda messed up a little bit more than I thought I did as you can see there's only that much white compared to what there should be uh -huh. yeah and <laughs> that happened with multiple wires but I'm gonna connect this one here and this one here right where it needs to be so I'm gonna show you how to do this my way so I just take the two wires like so that is such a cliche okay so I'm gonna take it and I don't know I have to twist it together to get a good grip but you might not have to so with this one I'm gonna take it fold it over just a little bit and around and then with the rest of it I can tie it like a twist tie just all the way around it okay there we go it's a nice solid clean looking copper wire now the electrical tape so you're gonna want to get a strip that's about that long it's about that long okay a little bit farther than the wire just to ensure it's insulated okay let me get a strip real quick old electric tape Okay, so that one. Now this will vary, but on uh, what, how large your area is, but yeah, that should be good. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it on there like that. I'm gonna take it. I'm going to fold it over the wire that way, the short way. And then I'm going to take this one and wrap it over the other way. Bam! It is solid. Don't twist it too much. This is not fully together yet. That's just like, it's like putting a band-aid on a bleeding wound. Okay, so I'm going to connect all the other ones and hook these up too so uh... well I I'll show you this again first so once again I just take this wrap it like see it's sticking out and the other one is perpendicular to it just wrap it around Try to get it nice and clean. And boom. Go get your electrical tape right there. Okay. About that long. Oh god. Dropped it on the floor. I'm 
sorry for those uh, Christians and Catholics and Baptists. I don't know. I'm sorry if I offended you just now. But, jeez. Don't be so sensitive. Okay. Covered the wire. Wrap it back around. And, boom. That is how it goes. You know, I thought sitting here talking to myself and you guys at the same time, I thought that'd be pretty boring, but really it's kind of entertaining. One more thing. You know, I said this frayed wire wasn't a big problem. Well, it's only not a big problem if you plan to tape those spots. I'm just going to get a strand about that long and over these poles gives it a nice flush look okay so holy crap it's peeling up my finger now this is ridiculously strong electric tape electric I didn't know that was a word electric huh okay so bam now I'm gonna connect the blue ones totally aside from everything because like I said earlier these are my control wires and the rest of them I'm gonna connect the switches okay I'll be back once I have the done <sighs> another 10 minutes of work okay, so I got all the light switches connected in there and I, I forgot to mention that if you're doing multiple switches it's a good idea to not put them at the same place in the wire just kind of, I extended this one really far, this one a little bit, this one not at all. So, I thought I'd mention that to you guys, just in case you did decide to do multiple switches. And earlier I said I was going to do something in another part of the wire. I'm going to have to do that in a different video, this one's really long already. So, um, yeah. Just thought I'd mention that. Uh, also, you don't want to use two kinds of wire in the process. Like, if you're using one that is store-bought like that, you don't want to use another brand. Anything that is not identical to this and the same brand and everything, you don't want to use that. Like, if you, um get your own cap 5 cable or cap 5 e cap 6 whatever you're gonna want to crimp you want to do a crimp thing a cable this is crimp right there anyway you're gonna want to crimp your own and you can buy tons of spare cable for that and also if you don't like want this all in the same place you can extend it as far as you want you can extend it all the way to the refrigerator if you want all the way over there but I didn't for the convenience of having it right here all in the same place I didn't extend it at all uh, if you want to do that though you can extend the entire cable there and there because it's a lot simpler just Okay, well, I thought I'd mention that stuff. I'm going to finish connecting all these, and I'll show you guys a clean up. Hey, guys. Um, I guess I kind of told you not to use other wire, and I didn't tell you where I got my spare wires. I cut a piece out of this. Like, it wasn't just snipped in half. I snipped it there and there kind of thing. But uh, another thing I wanted to mention was if the wires don't have any slack, like this one has a little slack, if it was like it, it can only move this much easily you don't want that that's the kind of thing I just got with this blue one the cables end there with slack so I'm gonna have to put another piece on it just to do that so I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll show you guys a clean up and we'll be all done okay here we go starting the finishing processes and clean up and everything uh, if you got a light switch and it had these screws in it since you're not fastening it to a wall, you should be able to just pull these straight out. There's this little 
threaded thing on it. Uh, and earlier I said that with the electrical tape it wasn't done. To finish that, just take a thin strip of duct tape and wrap it around each one of them. It strengthens it up a little bit and it just helps. I mean, it's optional, of course. I'm not going to do it with this one because I'm short on time, but you can do that. And, okay, so I'm going to take that screw, those two okay, screws so out. I got those two screws taken out. Um, now you want to get your switches in the order that they should be in lengthwise. So, just like this, this is my order, and that cool switch, brown switch, white switch. Um, some of the wires might be a little hard to expose. Let me sit down real quick. Okay, so to clean up, you're going to want to, any of this kind of plastic that you had left over, get rid of it. I don't, I'm not going to need it because I wore that out so much and it's all bleh. That's the only word I could think of, but, I don't, anyway, um, yeah, so, if you, if you're only doing one, you just have the rest of the seven wires running back behind it, of course you can probably still use that, um, what you're gonna wanna do is, the, this side is the one I'm choosing, I'm gonna duct tape it right here, right at the end of the plastic. Just take a little strip of duct tape. And the other side, we're going to do this part last. Very last. Okay, I'm going to have to stop it soon to put the videos on my computer. I should probably do that now before it cuts me out. So... Be right back once again, guys. That's what that looks like from the top-down view. Just a little piece of duct tape right there. It just helps, trust me. But you couldn't use electrical tape if you don't have duct tape. I mean, this is really cheap. It's actually called duct tape, not duct. Like so. Anyway, I gotta, I gotta pause this right now. BRB. Okay, guys. It's done. I duct taped it up. Put a little strip there. To cover up that hole, because there was a little hole there. But it's done. I have on, off, on, off, on, off. This one got backwards, and I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. That's what the back looks like. And you can use as much duct tape as you want. I covered up these metal pieces just because they look weird sticking out. If you just got random duct tape pieces, just kind of fits it all together. So, yeah. Stupid freaking shirt. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how that goes. And I'd like to say I don't have any credit for the background music that you heard. It, it all belongs to, to him. Okay, no, there's no way you can read the words. But, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. Plug either end into your modem, just end into your console, whether it be PC, Xbox, PS3. I'm playing on PS3. But, that's how it goes, everybody. That's how you make a lag switch, however you want to. But, I'd like to say, if you do cut it in half, there is no way that I know to actually make sure it all goes back together right. Unless you're very super careful, like, there's no way to be sure. Because I, when I was cutting into it just to expose the inner wires, not even the copper parts, just the inner parts, oh, I kind of sliced in some of the inner wires and that causes problems, but you might not notice them all. So, you can't repair them all properly. And when you're exposing some of the wires, it could, um, you could ruin the wire while you expose it. There's tons of variables that go into it. 
I think I'm gonna put a bridge right there. I'm going to. But this one backwards. Uh. Okay, well, guys, that's how you do it. So, if you stuck around till this part of the video, thank you guys. My voice just cracked, and I'm proud of it. You know, it, it means something. Don't know what that something is, but it means something. But yeah, everybody, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching the video all the way through, if you watched it to here. And give me that one view that I needed for YouTubeness. Okay, well, yeah. Good luck, everybody. And remember, use it at your own risk. If you get banned, it's not my fault. Because you put it together yourself, probably. Unless you